Ordered. As one of the Democratic legislators who walked out in protest of House Bill 5097 yesterday, I feel the need to respond to the direct attack from the senator from the 15th district. I am tired of white legislators like the senator from the 15th district, the senator from the 22nd district, lecturing black people that the United States is post-racial, we're done with race, and that things like privilege or oppression based on race no longer exist, because that is the premise of the senator from the 15th district's diatribe just now. 5097, the Beeler Bill, is yet another in a long line of happy history bills introduced by Republicans across the country, which are designed to terrify teachers into avoiding any meaningful discussion about racial discrimination on pain of losing their jobs or causing school funding to be withheld. We did this once. The senator from the 6th District and I, with Senate Bill 460, we sat through that. That bill says that 5% of a school's funding could be withheld if a teacher says that one race is fundamentally oppressed. Read the bill. It's in the last line. We could be talking about the teacher shortage classroom sizes that are too large, or even something as mundane as fixing school's broken heating and cooling and ventilation systems. But instead, we have legislators trying to score political points, in my opinion, Mr. President, during a primary, by furthering a fake scandal called critical race theory that it's a scandal in Michigan schools. It was invented by a white guy who has actually been invited to speak in the education committee in the Michigan Senate. He's a circuit speaker. I'm not going to dignify this body by saying his name. The United States is not post-racial. I'm white, and I know that, but why don't you ask, why don't you ask my, the, my colleague from the 6th District if the United States is post-racial, and we should stop all talk about racial discrimination in schools. It's painful to have to sit through that. So we walked out, and I do it again. Thank you, Mr. President.